Hey guys, it's Agonis Delmar again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue and show you my progress on my augmented reality app that I'm going to be releasing this Christmas. I want to show you how I apply a smooth to the lines, what are some of the smooth options that I added in the inspector, how the objects look in the hierarchy, and basically some of the progress. I'm also talking about what I'm going to be doing on the next videos and some of the things that I still need to fix. So let's jump into Unity and I start looking at it. Let me show you what I'm going to be doing today, which is to give you an update of my app for augmented reality. So I want to show you some of the features that I've been working on for the last couple of days. One that I think is, is really important for the game, for the app to be successful, is to be able to optimize the lines, how they look, because a lot of it is going to be drawing and I want people to draw and I want everything to look really good. So I'm going to show you what I've been doing to do that. So ever since I started working on this app, the line details really bother me. Like I didn't like how it looked, it just looked, it just didn't look clean. So it's something that I just had in the back of my mind. So let me, let me actually do this. Let me go ahead and go into free aspect ratio so that I can see, I can show you more of what we're dealing with. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the inspector and I'm going to show you the line pool manager, which I add a couple of effects. So first I'm going to show you how it works. I'll give you a demo and then we'll look at some of the options that I have. And then we'll look at some of the objects that get created in the hierarchy as I'm interacting with the app. There's still a lot of things that I need to fix, so this is not going to be 100% perfect. I'm going to have bugs, I know, and I'm going to be fixing those in the, in the next few days. So it's going to hit play. And there we go. Just give it a second here. All right, so now that we're, that we're drawing, we're going to, which is the mode that we're on. So this is something that I have if I change the, if I change the mode. So you can see that I have, I have a bug right there where I change to effect mode. So, but this is something that I've been adding. So now I can interact with these through the through the actual editor. I couldn't do this on the editor because this was ray casting on a plane that was created with AR Plane Manager. So I changed the implementation on the plane and then now I can do it on the editor, which is cool because I can now test everything. So let's say that I wanted to try a different effect and I still have a bug. You can see that it's ray casting even though it's capturing the event, even though I select the button. So I'm going to be fixing that as well. So let's say that I wanted to do something like, so let's go ahead and find my rain or the stars effects. I think this one is really cool. And then I'm just going to start, so I can drag around and then, you know, if I don't want to see as many, you know, as many stars, I can go all the way down anyways, but I can move it, I can move it around. So let's say that I want to draw now, right? I want this to, you know, to have some kind of detail and we can go, you know, into draw mode. I can go ahead and select the menu. I can select, you know, which brush size I want. Let's say that I want to do something like, like that. And then I want to change the color and I want a random color. Maybe I want to create a comment and I'm just coming up with ideas that I had before. So I said that I want to do a comment. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to do something like this. And, and this is not a comment whatsoever. <laughs> Let's try that again. So we're going to go ahead and edit everything. I'm going to clear everything actually. And then I like the, I want to go a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and point 0 0.5, actually 0 0.05. I think it's a good number. And then I, I think I like that color. So we're going to start here and I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to do something like that. That doesn't look like a comment whatsoever, but it's okay. I'll just create, I'll just create some, some kind of effect. Let me go ahead and clear it. Let's go bigger than that. And then we'll do, we'll do something like this. Okay, and then what I'll do here is I'll resize it. And then that way we can, that doesn't look like a comment, but you get the idea. So I'm just gonna clear it. And then, so let's say that I wanted to create something else, right? Just create something here. And then we can go ahead and resize it. Let's make it a lot smaller. Change the color if you wanted to. And then do a curve here. And you can see that I have an H right there. Let's do something like this. And I can do different color on that one. Let's go a little bit smaller. Let's say that I want to, for whatever reason, I want to just, just draw around here. And I'm going to just draw a square here. And you're going to see where, where I'm going with this. 
and then I just do some spikes on the bottom, change the color, let's change the color, let's do that color. And then we can also change the, the size again, just make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so now that I have everything selected, now let's go into the and look at the options on the line pool manager. So right now I have a line mesh material. This is the material that we can see right now that is associated with every single one of the lines. It's actually the one that gets created by default. But then when I'm changing the option on the color that I'm that I'm assigning, I create a, a material throughout, you know, behind the scenes dynamically. But this one right here, the line grid mesh material, it's going to be the material that gets assigned to the lines as soon as I smooth them. And that's the implementation that I added. I have these smooth line options. I can tell the system whether I want to apply a smooth or I want to, or, or I don't want to apply a smooth, or if I want to keep the original line, which means that I'm going to apply a smooth and I'm going to create a new line, I'm going to keep the original. And then this is just a smooth factor determining how much smoothness I'm going to be applying to the curve. So let's say that we, we want to go this way. And I'm going to change the mode to just something else. It doesn't matter what, what it is. And let me just go ahead and hit that. And as soon as I hit that, I hit an exception. <laughs> Let's see why. Let's see why that is. Let me go ahead and go into it. Might be that I didn't. That I didn't set something for some reason. Okay, and let's go ahead and try this one more time. I'm gonna do it without making making too many lines so that we can test it fairly quick. So I'm gonna stop it. Hit play again. I'm gonna draw a line, and then I'm gonna smooth it. So I think I still have a bug in there somewhere. But if I do that same thing again, okay, now let's put an effect. So as you can see, I have a few issues. So let's put an effect right there. I think that's fine. And let's go ahead and draw, let's go ahead and draw another line. So I'm just gonna draw a line here, draw a line here, a line here, and then we'll change the size. Let's make it, maybe let me make it a little bit bigger and then just give it a different color. And then we'll just do something like this, something like this. And let's go ahead and change. So as you can see, I have this other grid that shows as soon as I smooth the line. And what that is, is the original line. So what I did is I took the original line and I grabbed the points. I applied some smoothness algorithm that I wrote, and then I get a new line. So you can see that we're applying a smoothness around each of the corners. You can see that as well here. And the reason why I left the original one as an option is because I wanted to see how it looked like and then be playing, you know, play with the settings to see what kind of look and feel I can get. So let's go ahead and hit play again. Stop and then play it. So I can show you that better. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the inspector here. And then we're gonna look at the options. So let's say I didn't want to apply a smooth. I'm gonna uncheck that. I'm going to go ahead and draw something. So we can just draw, let me just do a point right there. And then one right here, I can just do something. So you can see I have you know some edges in there, another edge here, and then if I change, nothing happened, and the reason nothing happened is because I didn't actually apply a smooth. And there's a lot of things that are actually happening. It's not that nothing happened. There's actually, yeah, a lot of things that are happening. One thing is I'm converting this to a mesh, and then that way I can select the lines. So, but I'm not applying a curvature a smoothness to the line. So if we go back and I hit play, now the apply smooth is set to true. But let's say that this time around, we don't want to keep the original line. We just want to get rid of it. So I just got to uncheck that. And let's go ahead and just draw something here. And then we'll just do squares. We'll do a couple of spikes on the bottom. And then we'll just hit change the mode. So now you can see that I don't have the original line. In fact, there's no objects that I created in here. I'm just creating a smooth lines as you can see here. And those are all working. So now if I go, and I haven't tested this, let me go back into selection. And yeah, everything is working. So this is a new line that has been smooth and it's still selected because I'm converting that to a mesh as well. I need to fix this thing where the, where the effects are on the way. It's driving me crazy. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at the, look at the way that I'm applying the smooth through the UI. I'll, try, I'll show you the code later on, but I think for now, let's just look at how it looks. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do here, let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. Let's apply some color so that it looks cool when I show it to you. Okay, so I'll just do, I'll just do some big lines there. 
and then change the, change the the mode so that I can apply a smooth a smoothness. So now we can see here. So what I wanted to show you is what I'm doing in the hierarchy. So this one is the original line, and you can see that the actually this is going to be the smooth line. As you can see, the color that it has is actually this one. I, I yeah, I keep going back. It still has the same color here, but I'm applying a different material, which is the line grid material. And that's what you can see that right there. So if I wanted to make it a little stronger so that we can see the difference. So you can see the original line here has very, very rough edges, very strong edges. And then this one has the curvature. And, and I changed the, the opacity, the alpha, so that you can see the difference between those two. And if we look at where it is, so this one is a smooth. I just used the same name. And then I also make a parent game object so that we can do different rotations and different things that I'm going to be doing in the experience. And then the original line, I left it in there, like I said, so that we can see it. So, But if we look at the smooth line, you can see the color that it had. Let me go ahead and change the alpha value on this one right here so we can look at the other one better. And we can look at the line that has been smooth. I have my mesh collider. I have an AR line object, which is the one that I'm going to be using for selecting and unselecting. You can see that it it has the, the red color that I use for selection. And then I also have the material, which is the, the dynamic material that is getting created behind the scenes. And then I'm assigning the colors here on the line. So now if I go back to if I go back to the selection, which is gonna be which is gonna be here, I can still let me go, have, go ahead and change it. I can still select it if I if I select here, I select it, and then I can also you know, go back into effect mode and then change the effect. So I could go here and if I wanted to change the effect to something else, then I could do that. And then I have a lot of issues with this right now because it's not it's not working 100%, but I'm pretty happy with the, you know, the changes that I've been making so far. I'm going to, I'm going to be showing you additional effects later on and things that I add, but for the most part, I think I get everything really, really working except few issues that I have that I have to fix. But I think by the next video, I'll be able to show you these running in AR and then also fixing some of the issues where I select the icons and then it's also, you know, capturing the touch event position of the effects and placing it around this area. All right, guys, thank you much for watching today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.